Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say a few words about Xenome.io Foundation. There's a sample of saliva in this tube. How much do you think it costs? 25 cents? A dollar? $20? Maybe nothing at all. Well, what if I told you that all of your saliva samples combined could cost a million dollars? Did you know that there's a company that is all about collecting, buying, and selling saliva that has a market capitalization of $1 billion? This company's name is 23andMe. Really, they don't sell saliva, but the DNA extracted from saliva. They sell DNA sequences in digital form with the description of all your unique features. Just a few drops of saliva are enough to get all the information about your genome. There is big business in saliva. So what is DNA? It's all your features and traits encoded by a sequence of just four letters, A, T, C, and G. It's your personal instruction manual. It's like IKEA furniture, but more complex furniture, and it's all written in a biological language. Our health, appearance, optimal diet, and even love compatibility are determined by our DNA. Genomic data has great value not only for you, but also for corporations. They need genomic information from a large number of people to develop personalized products. Let's find out how the genomic market works right now. The reduction in the cost of genomic analysis has led to an exponential increase in the available data. Prices drop faster than Moore's Law implies, making the genomic market one of the fastest growing markets in the world. When big pharma companies need data, they buy data from intermediaries and involve scientific organizations in the analysis of this data. Each time a company plans to use personal genomic data to develop a new pill or personalized guilty pleasure food or sports supplements to make you as strong as a superhero or cosmetics that will make you look like Lady Gaga, they have to conduct a separate study. We participate in the emerging genomic market as well. Our team's last project was the analysis of genetic data for one of the strongest consumer goods companies, Unilever. The study tested whether there is genetic predisposition to enjoying the divisive yeast extract spread, Marmite. Marmite is rich in vitamin B, but also has a specific taste that you would either love or hate. DNA Fit one of the UK's leading genetic testing centers has aligned with the iconic British breakfast spread to conduct a clinical trial involving more than 300 participants to determine a biological link to people's taste preference for Marmite. Such studies are called genome-wide association studies and usually involve identifying associated genetic markers. Now, Unilever are developing a new recipe targeting genetic haters of the original products to expand the Marmite market. So genetic-based personalization nutrition is not science fiction. Scientists, such as our team, are working on it right now. Allow me to explain the essence of the project. Our Xenome project focuses on the construction of a blockchain-based genomic ecosystem. Our solution is based on interactions between three different types of information, genomic data, personal data, and financial data. In view of the specificity of each of these data types, we have implemented their storage arrangement using technically different approaches. Financial transaction data is stored in the blockchain. Genomic data, due to its large size, is stored anonymously with public access. It is distributed and replicated in the independent nodes. The coordination is achieved using a distributed hash table, DHT. The personal data of every individual is only stored on their local computer. All interactions in the Xenome network are provided by smart contract technology. How do you know if you can trust a member or not? All members are ranked according to the reputation inside the system. Also, cryptography is widely used to provide a secure environment for data exchange. The ZNA token is a local cryptocurrency. First of all, tokens are used to pay for data storage and calculations. 
there is no way to access the platform without obtaining some. Also, ZNA can be used to cover genetic testing costs and other services. Furthermore, it solves the data monopolization and privacy problems. Let me explain how this happens. On the platform, there are four base system roles. The very first role is the node. Nodes can use their hard disk space for storage and their CPU or GPU for computational power for resource-intensive tasks. A node is rewarded for its useful provided resources with ZNA tokens. The second role is for the person who can upload their genomic data. For a small price, he can get a personal genomic report and or safe storage. Furthermore, he can start earning tokens by selling genomic data by filling out questionnaires for companies for their research and development. The user has full control over genomic data. It's up to the user to decide whether or not to accept an offer. If the offer requires providing personal information, the system will warn them about the risks. So the motivation for the user is to profit by sharing genetic data. The next role is the data consumer. This could be any company that plans to use genetic data in personalized product development. Unilever with Marmite is just an example. The data consumer buys tokens in exchange for real money to take part in the ecosystem. This way, consumers provide liquidity to the platform. Finally, the last role is the service provider. Basically, this is the company that offers the analysis of genetic data and makes reports. Genetic services can include medical services, dating services, personalized nutritional services, and so on. Different service providers have three reasons to use our platform. Firstly, Xenome takes away the complexity of genetic data storage. Secondly, Xenome lets them concentrate on the quality of service. And lastly, Xenome can generate new customers for service providers. Finally, let me introduce you to the Xenome team. The Xenome.io team has been working in the field of genetics and molecular biology since 2009. We have experience in conducting academic studies as well as in practical applications. Since 2012, we've been developing a personal genetic diagnostic system, featuring novel approaches for individual genetic analysis and estimating the influence genetic factors have on observable traits. First comes Alexei Gorbachev. He has a PhD in genomics. The next is Nick Kuhleman. He's a bioinformatician and a PhD also. Vladimir Nalmov is a data scientist. Sergey Popov, our cryptic blockchain developer, is so concerned about privacy and so paranoid, in a good sense, that he didn't allow us to take a photo of him. He only allowed us to have a hash value of a photo. So you can trust him with your genetic data and Dimitri Kwan, our VIP business advisor. Our ZNA presale starts October 17th. Join us. Thank you for your attention.